Three key members of President Trump's campaign will testify before Senate committees as part of the growing probes into possible ties between the campaign and Russian interference in the election. Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, will speak in a closed session to the Senate Intelligence Committee, one of the main panels investigating Russia's meddling, on July 24th. Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., and Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, will appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee in an open hearing on July 26th, along with two other men. One, William Browder, lobbied for human rights sanctions against Russia, known as the Magnitsky Act, after one of his employees died in a Russian prison. The other, Glenn Simpson, works for the research firm that assembled the controversial dossier about Moscow's compromising information on Trump. A thing like that should have never been written. The hearing is supposed to be about the previous administration's enforcement of the Foreign Agents Registration Act, a law requiring political agents that represent foreign interests to disclose their relationship with the foreign government and register with the Justice Department. Manafort and Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, both sidestepped the law despite having received money from foreign actors, and only registered after they resigned, Manafort in August 2016 and Flynn in February 2017. But the hearing will likely widen to include questions about the men's contacts with Russian officials during the campaign and the transition. Here's what senators want to find out. One, what was their participation in the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting with Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya? The meeting, which was undisclosed until the New York Times revealed it in early July, has raised many questions about what information Trump's top campaign aides thought they would receive going into the meeting and what actually happened during it. We were all there. I was basically sitting there listening as a courtesy uh, to my acquaintance. He apologized to me walking out of the meeting basically for wasting my time. Two, were there other undisclosed meetings between campaign members and Russian foreign agents? The fact that the 2016 Trump Tower meeting wasn't disclosed until more than a year after the fact, and only when a news outlet forced Trump Jr. to acknowledge it. This is pre-Russia mania. You know, this is 13 months ago. Leaves lawmakers with doubts that all other encounters with Russians have come to light. They'll want assurances that Trump's top campaign advisors have told them about all of those encounters. Three, what did they know of Russia's attempts to sway the election toward Trump? Trump has remained adamant that he had no idea Russia was interfering in the election. And hacking is a very hard thing to prove, so it could be somebody else. But the communications around the 2016 Trump Tower meeting show that at least Trump Jr., one of the closest members of Trump's campaign, knew that the Russian government was trying to dig up dirt on Hillary Clinton. Senators will want to know the extent of Kushner, Manafort, and Trump Jr.'s knowledge of Russian meddling, and when they knew about the interference.